some of the animal, and then very quickly, very carefully, we are going to grab him right by the mouth. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. oh. Alright, now, that is the easy part. Ladies and gentlemen, the hard part is getting on the back of the alligator. Who knows the safest way to get on the back of an alligator? <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there's no safe way. However, the easiest way for me is to cover the eyes. When the alligator cannot see, the alligator cannot bite. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, now, what you guys bear with me, pretend that I am a single man. And I just capture myself an alligator. Next step for me is to secure the jaws. So I'm going to take my imaginary rope out of my back pocket and I'm going to tie it around the alligator's mouth. But what do you need to tie a rope? No. Two hands, ladies and gentlemen. You got to have two hands to tie a rope. That means something has got to hold the mouth shut. Now remember, the Seminoles were by themselves. So they had to figure out a way to free up their two hands so that they could tie a rope freely around the alligator's mouth. So what they did was pretty interesting. They would take their chest and their chin. They would place it over the mouth of the alligator and they would hold the alligator's mouth shut just like so. Thank you, thank you. So now I have two free hands. I can take the rope out, tie it around the alligator's mouth, and then I can bring them home to my mother-in-law. Sounds good, right? A couple of people appreciate that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this later turned from a hunting technique into a show in about 1932. What happened was this. They built what's called the Tamiami Trail. That's the road that travels from Tampa. It goes all the way down to Miami, and it borders the swamp. So tourists would drive by. They would see a seminal man on the back of an alligator, and of course, they pulled over. They asked questions. They took pictures, but here's the key. They started to leave a little bit of money for gratitude. Concept four. Now instead of using these animals for food, they would use them for shows, teach people about their culture, and obviously get a little bit of money to feed their families that way. Well, it was not long, ladies and gentlemen, before the Seminoles also discovered that the more dangerous the stunt, the more money that people would leave. So, for your entertainment, I am going to stick my face inside the alligator's mouth. Silence. Nothing but silence. <laughs> is that a bad idea? Yeah, it's a terrible idea, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, that is a sick joke. I'm not going to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Nope. Not until the end of the show. Well, we're going to show you now how it's something called a close shave if it goes correctly. Otherwise, it is known as face off. <laughs> I got a couple. I'll take it. All right, here we go. I got one more trick left for you, but I'm only going to show you if you really want to see it. So I'm going to ask you once and only once. Are you ready for the last trick? Yeah! yeah. All right, that was terrible, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try it one more time. Are you ready for the last trick? Yeah! All right, so this last one here is called Incredibly Stupid. So get your cameras out. Listen, if all goes well, you guys will get some awesome photos. If something should happen to go wrong, then you will get some awesome photos. <laughs> I'm kidding, ladies and gentlemen. There's a security camera into the pit 24-7, 365 days a year. Trust me, if something goes wrong, turn, scream, panic, and run in the opposite direction. All right, here we go. That is it for me in the alligator pit. How about a big round of applause for the alligator? Alright, so if you guys enjoyed yourselves, if you learned anything at all, anything you leave in the buggies, 
is much appreciated at that time make a living. Otherwise, after the show, I'm going to be standing over by the water where the birds are with that gentleman over there with my own personal little buddy. His name is Wally. He is only three and a half years old. He's just a little much. Come here, Wally. Oh, everybody say hello to Wally. Hello. <laughs> you guys are allowed to hold him and take pictures with him. When you ask for a $5 donation per person for the photos, the money for this is separate from the buckets and goes back to the alligators. Help us Guys, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Hey, 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 hey,